Hey guys, it's Nadine, and I am back with part two of how to print smaller pictures for your project life in case you don't already know how to do it. So again, this was a video request from Angie, and she actually uh, requested how to use a PC to print smaller, uh, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to still teach people on both PC and Mac. Um, Alrighty, so I'm here, and I opened up my iPhoto in Mac, which you all Mac Mac users know that you will find it down here on your docking station. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose which video, uh, not videos, which photos I want to use. So again, I'm going to click one picture and then hold down the command key on my keyboard and click on the second picture that I want to print. Now that those two things are, um, Highlighted, as you can see in yellow, it's highlighted. I'm gonna go to the top of my screen and up here, and it says, let me see if I can zoom in. See up here, it says File. It'll give me a drop down menu, and second from the bottom, it says Print. And a pop up screen should be showing up any minute now. There we go. Let me zoom out. So, this is my printing pop up screen, okay? All right, so with the Mac, it's a little bit different. This side will tell you what is possible as far as the kind of print printing you want to do. Standard printing, you want to do it like a contact sheet. You want to have a simple border around it. You want to maybe turn it into a mat, which you can actually change the colors, or you want to do a double mat, which is the white and the outside is a different color. Okay. For this purpose, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep it simple. We're going to just use a standard. So standard is highlighted. Um, and what I'm going to do is you want to pay attention to this area right down here at the bottom of the screen. And let's kind of focus in on that. All right. So we're going to do paper size. Now, here's the thing. When I print on my Mac, I usually print on um, four by six sizes. Let me, I'm just grabbing my 4 by 6 paper for you all so you can see what I use. Ooh, yikes, too close. This is what I use. It's from Office Depot. It's called Standard Photo Paper. I usually use the glossy one, but that's, you know, that's your choice. Uh, there's 100 in here, um, and these are 4 by 6 sizes. See that? And this is not really expensive at all, I don't really think. I Maybe... Um, I don't know, 20 bucks if that, maybe not even 20 bucks, I don't know. It's not ex that expensive and like I said, it comes with a lot, okay? Um, I buy that one and this is the other one that I buy because I tend to go to Office Max more than I do Office Depot. So here's Office Max photo paper, glossy premium, 100 sheets in here, it's 4x6, okay? Um, I don't know what the whole 210 grams, 8 whatever stands for, I really don't know. Um, doesn't really matter to me. Alrighty, so that's the kind of paper I use. Now let's go back to the screen. Alrighty, so here we are. Now, what I'm going to choose is paper size. If you click it, it gives you a drop down menu and it has tons of different kinds of papers that you can choose from that, you, that you're going to print on or print, yeah, print on actually. As you can see, um, let me focus here. It says, see, as you, the little arrows suggest that you can, you have more options, okay? Um, so I am going to, now you have a 5x7s you can do, you can do 4x6s, you can do an 8x10, um, you can do an envelope, which I'm not going to do an envelope, you can do an A4, which is an A4 size card that you can actually use printing on a card. And I'll show you guys how to do that later in another video um, if you want to make your own Christmas cards or whatever the case, or A5 size uh, card, A6, um, all of this stuff. I mean, Mac really has a shitload of uh, options. However, I'm going to keep it simple again, and I'm just going to do 4 by 6 and if I move this up here, I'm going to do 4 by 6 and I can pretty much do index card. I mean, it really, I don't see up here, it says index card, it says 4 by 6 inches, it says 4 by 6 inches again tab. 
I don't know what all that means, so I'm just going to stick to what I know, which is index card 4 by 6 So I'm going to click that. All right. Then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my preset is actually on photo paper because I want my printer to know that, listen, I am printing on photo paper. And then here is the most important part of this entire video. See this little section right here? It says print size. Right now it's on standard. I don't want standard. I actually want to customize it. So I have three by five. I have two by three. I have two by two. I can also customize it if I wanted to customize it. What will happen is I push customize. It'll bring up a pop-up screen that will allow me to customize the print size and I can put whatever height and width I prefer in inches and I will push OK. Okay. So because I'm not a very complex person, I normally don't customize it. There have been times where I have in the past, not a whole heck of a lot, but um, for this, I'm just going to say, you know what? I want to do a two by two. Um, so here we go. I picked two pictures and now on my four by six um, photo paper, this is what it's going to look like. So each of these pictures right here, they're going to, the measurements are going to be two by two. And let's see, let me print this out for you all. So I'm just going to do a really, uh, add this really quickly. Here's my printer. I got a whole bunch of crap on it, so. <laughs> and you can hear my kids in the background. Uh, so I'm just putting the 4x6 photo paper in here. And I'm going to print it out. Simple as that. Um, glossy side down. And that's that. Alrighty, so here uh, is the printout of the picture pictures that I chose. And as you can tell, both of them are 2x2. Two two. Um, now here's the thing about Project Life layouts. I find that the 2x2 two two works really well because you can actually cut an even border around each side and this can actually um, look like one of those Instagram pictures. Um, so I find I, I really like that. But if not, I mean you can easily just cut these two separate, separate and then put them in your um, Project Life layout like this. So anyhow, that is easy peasy uh, how you do printing smaller pictures on a Mac and PC and let's see what else I was gonna tell you actually I'm gonna do another video now that I'm thinking about it on um, a really cool or nifty little trick that I've come up with as far as um, utilizing um, one of the apps that I have on my phone um, that's another way to kind of like do some cool printing for your project life. So I will um, be back with another video for that and you guys can see me in the camera in the reflection in my computer. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I will, well I hope that this was helpful to someone and uh, if it, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to message me uh, write a comment below um, if you have any more video requests I am up for that so let me know if there's something that I can teach you uh, if I know how to do it I will definitely teach you um, no biggie um, so yeah uh, I appreciate you all watching and have a great evening talk to you later